Hello my fellow riders, this is Chris at Ride and Reviews and today we're going to be looking at the Lexmoto Electric Range. Now as I said before we are going to be looking at the Lexmoto Electric Range. We're just going to be doing a quick look over on these things and later on I will be doing an individual video on each one to go through more of the specific details. But now we're just going to go through and do a quick comparison. I think I'm the first one on the internet to uh, have these up other than Lexmoto. Um, so that's always good for us. Now I will be having a clipboard today. There's a lot of information on these on these scooters and motorbike. So uh, I need a little bit of help. So let's get to it. So the first one we're going to have a look at is the Yadia, this one, which is the Yadia G5 and that is £1,799 plus £75 on the road. If you get this bike without the 500, uh, without the 20% grant, which is called the Olive grant, I guess it's like the olive tree or something like that. Then this will be uh, £2,249 plus the £75 on the road. Uh, the power output on this is 3.1 horsepower at 2.5 kilowatts. Has a 60 volt battery and that is 30 amp hour. Now this bike is supposed to be one of the best ones in regards to power. It's restricted to 23 miles an hour, um, but it will go. Um, it has got the most powerful engine in it, which is two, uh, 2,300 watts. So yes, it is reduced on power. It is reduced on uh, output, but the max power on this is 2,300 watts. Now apparently you can have it de-restricted. I saw on the internet there was something um, that somebody did on this one in particular and you get 45 miles an hour out of it and that will do, I think it was 40 miles. The max range as it stands is 55 miles. Obviously that depends on your weight, that depends on where you go and that depends how you ride the bike. Next one is the Yadia Impulse. The Yadia Impulse. Now this one is uh, comes in grey or white. It's £1,699 plus £75 on the road. If you have the olive, if you don't buy it with the olive grant, you will be paying £2,124 um, and you have to pay the £75 on the road as well. This one's got a 1500 watt motor, 2.7 horsepower at 24 amp hours in the battery which is the smallest um, smallest powered battery out of all of these sort of things. Um, turn it on, lights are uh, really nice. I will have some pictures up here somewhere of the display and yeah, they all come with uh, different alarm systems. Well, this one's got an alarm already built into it and it makes beepage. As I say, I'll have some pictures up at the top here so that we can show the front, the back, the in-between, the left, the right, the whatever. And by the way, I'm not going to go in my speedos and I'm not going to do a posing session for you as a power lifter. It's not happening, so stop asking. So yeah, anyway, this one is a 1500 watt um, motor, 2.7 horsepower, 2 kilowatts and a 24 amp hour battery. I'll turn on the light on this. They do look snazzy, they definitely look snazzy. Right, lastly we have the Elex, which I'm guessing is Lex Motors electric scooter. This one's £16.99 plus £75 on the road. It has a speed of, uh, well, a mileage of 55 miles max. 1500 watt motor. This one actually comes with two 
24 amp hour batteries and it is 48 volt um, which means that you're going to have slightly less amount of torque coming out of this because that voltage is slightly lower uh, all of these that one's 72 volt that one's 60 volt and this one's 72 volt also so um, obviously the the voltage the ampage makes different power outputs but i'm not going into all of that this time so the elex is available in black and it would be 2124 pounds plus 75 pounds on the road if you don't take the olive grant now the last one in the list oh uh, by the way this one comes with a camera and it also comes with an alarm system the camera system is built in and comes with as standard with all of these ones now the last one is the Lex Moto Cipher. This one's 1849 plus 75 pounds on the road. It comes in black and red or it comes in black, red, blue and black. Black and red, blue or black. Yep. 2312 pounds plus 75 pounds on the road. It has a 40, 40 mile range. It's got a 50, uh, 1500 watt controller, 2.5 horsepower total power and 1.85 kilowatts another way of saying 2.5 and it comes with a 26 amp hour 75 volt battery now i've done a couple of up and down the roads on these bikes and all the scooters up and down the road are fairly the same on output the only one that surprised me a lot was this this bike has a lot more get up and go than all of the scooters. Uh, I would say torque wise, this one will probably be 20% for, uh, more torquey than those, those three scooters. Excuse me. Now this one um, hasn't got Bluetooth. It's the only one that doesn't actually come with Bluetooth. All of these three come with a Bluetooth app so that you can connect them. Uh, you can see how far they're gonna go. There's other stuff on it. I haven't really looked 100% into the, into the app yet. I don't know if they come in English or not. But they have got apps, they have got Bluetooth, so you will be able to get some um, data off of them, i.e. battery life and war warranty and all that sort of gubbins. But that's something that we're going to have to look at in a later video because I have to talk to Lexmoto and find out exactly how, what, where and why there is Bluetooth and there is an app. So we've got to figure all of that out. Again, it's quite nice. Um, 1849 pound plus 75 pound on the road, 2312 pounds with a grunt. This one is just a motorbike, yeah. It hasn't got the um, Bluetooth on it. From what I can tell, I, I might be wrong, but these are all things, this is the first time we've actually had a look at these sort of bikes. So we will have to do a little bit more research. We're gonna have to take them around the block. We're gonna have to do a drain test on them and we're gonna have to do a maximum mileage. Now, I know if you've seen my videos before on the WK Colt, you will see that we did actually do a full drain test on those ones and we did uh, a usability ride as well. And those ones were really good. It got up to 28 miles an hour, lots of torque, but the range was in real life situations was only about 25 miles. Even though it stated it was about 35, 40 miles. So these may be the same sort of situation where, yes, on paper it does say that it will do 55 miles, but in real life you maybe want to take 10% off of the top there. Just because even if you're standing at traffic with the uh, engine, with a motor on or the ignition on, you still got to have power for your lights and stuff like that. And none of these lights will work off of the 70 volt. They'll all have inverters on them to change them to 12 volt. And all of that sort of stuff takes power. All of them have USB. All of them have batteries that you can remove. This one comes with, it doesn't actually stay on here, but 
on Lexmotor's website, it tells you that it comes with 14.4 newton meters of torque. Compare that to a 50cc, uh, you're looking two newton meters of torque. So that, that's the difference. Also, the way that they work out the max power output on an electric vehicle is completely different to how they work it out on a petrol vehicle. A petrol vehicle is max output for one uh, data point. So max output for one data point will tell you the peak power of these. On a 50, on a electric scooter, they do um, average output for half an hour ride. So that's why the um, the zero, which is a 125cc equivalent motorbike, has 56 horsepower, but on an average ride with the restriction at 70 miles an hour, that horsepower is actually works out 11 kilowatt hours. So it's all, it's all different, but in theory, you should be able to get more oomph out of an electric bike legally than you can out of a petrol bike, but these will all be restricted to 30 miles an hour. I am a big uh, pusher for electric. I really like electric. Do I think it's there yet? Maybe. Um, the bikes are great. The motors are great. Everything is great apart from the batteries. Batteries are a big issue on all electric vehicles and until they improve the range on everything, then a range and price, then that's not going to be a big out, outgo for everybody to go and get an electric vehicle. If you see my uh, WK Colt as well, this bike is a lot better than the WK Colt. Uh, design, comfort and speed or torque is a lot better than the WK. Um, so maybe you should consider this. Uh, my boss has actually got a Colt for his daughter and he is going to trade it for this. So this is just a quick look at Lexmoto's new electric range. Electric is coming in now. All of these Lexmotos, Lexmoto has stopped doing 50cc motorbikes. They are going to still do the Echo, I believe. Um, CF Moto is planning to bring out a electric motorbike. Key, uh, Keyway is also planning to bring out an electric 125 and Zontis who are, they've got loads of push bikes already out and available and they're like the top end push bikes, like 4,000-ish. Um, they're planning to bring out an electric motorbike. So it may be a situation soon where you are only gonna be able to get 50 cc's from us and from Aprilia. And that's up to you whether you take that or not. Hopefully this has been an informative video and hopefully you've enjoyed it. I will have some pictures up and uh, yeah, we'll have, we'll have a look around. So subscribe to my channel if you like my video. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs down and hit that notification bell to stay updated to all my latest content. But as always, ride safe.